अच्छा कीवर्ड इज अ वर्ड वेयर इन बिट द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द होल कोड रूट्स ऑफ ऑपरेशंस एनीथिंग एल्स एनीवन इट्स अ प्रीडिफाइंड वर्ड लाइक रिजर्वड वर्ड so keywords are the predefined special some some special uh, reserved name you can say or some special reserved words you can say right so they have some special purpose for the programming language any any programming language right so how many keywords are there in the python or the code uh, how you can find all the keywords It's easy. Well, thirty-three less than thirty. Okay, thirty-five. Uh, okay. See how uh, you have two ways for finding the things, right? But I'm going to the very simple one, right? So, what are the things? The very first, what are we learning here is keywords, right? So. uh should i give the things no i leave it okay so keywords you can directly go with help of the of oh, sorry stop all right so we see a list of keywords here right like nine in a row and then four columns so 9 4 36 and one less is this so 35 it's fine or the next thing is you can go with the import of keyword and then you can print down uh the keyword dot the kw list still you'll be getting all the list of the keywords okay then there are some terms uh, for any program we have uh, tokens in python if you know like tokens there are keywords there are um identifiers there are literals there are operators there are punctuators right so these all are the tokens right if you know the things all right now identifiers i'll tell you right identifiers are nothing but the names given to the variables or the list or data types of the tuples or dictionary objects right so those are the identifiers okay now literals will say as to be the data items which have a constant or which has a fixed value like it can be a string it can be numeric it can be boolean it can be some special uh, literals too right so then we have operators now operators in python are of various types right so um, these operators are just the tokens that trigger some computations or actions when applied on the variables and you can see it to be the arithmetic operators assignment operators uh, bitwise operators comparison identity membership uh, shift operators logical operators and bit have got more than one names also right so there are a lot of operators and then punctuators are the symbols that are used in programming language like the hash tag like the force bracket the third bracket the second bracket um, the Add the rate hyphen, uh, not sorry, not hyphen. The colons equals to, and these are things, right? And when we say the bare bones of a Python program, so what are the bare bones? A bare bones we talk about, right? So I'll give it a heading like this. So bare bones of a program in Python. If we say for this, then what exactly are those the bare bones of the Python program? So all there are actually five things. What we say exactly, this is the the backbone or the bare bone of a program, right? So what exactly are those things? If we say like in a comment, I'm writing this. Uh, 
or in the pillow I can even write. So we say comments. What are the codes you are writing? You need to define all the things, right? If you are doing a project now, you need to go through this, right? Then the expressions. Then the blocks. And at last the sorry. Functions. So all these are used basically. Right, so expressions can be the legal combination of the symbols that represent a value. Now statements are basically the programming functions, instructions, what we write, and comments are the description of the code, what, you, what we write actually. Functions are the named code, sections which we can, uh, we can say, uh, reuse by specifying their names, right? Right. Like why define a function, very uh, easiest one, right? So uh, let me write a comment. So I'll write this program shows a program's component, sorry. Okay. And these comments are also of two types. This is like single type comment and multi type comments, right? And then Definition. Uh, just a minute. Function. Now, I'm creating a function. We are always starting with the functions and all in the yeah, some days. Okay. Like I'm creating a function of cu. I'm giving line numbers, right? So uh, let's say. Writing mm. hello everyone. Okay. That's it. So this is line, right? Now I'll write the main program. So that is a function. Now the main program will be there. Like if I say a is equals to 15, okay, and b is equals to a minus 10. Okay, this is a and b. Now if I say that this program will be returning you a plus 3, and if the b is greater than 15, sorry, uh, 5. If b is greater than 5, just writing up the things, right? So you can understand what exactly it does mean. We'll say b is equals to the format and we'll write the values of b or using an else. What all a function can hold? So we'll say b is less than 5, right? So this is complete function, right? So when I write C, U, that's it. So this means I'm calling a function which is defined above, right? So as soon as I run this, I get hello everyone, good evening, and then 18 and b is less than 5. Now if I say a is equals to something, an integer input, if I take an input over here, so I'll just say enter a number, that's it. Let on this, and here I'll be running this. Now see. Hello everyone and enter a number is there. Now let's say if I write 30, so 33 is the value and then v is equals to 20. Okay, so only print is there and then v value is there. Right, so this is how it is being done. Now if it is less than 5, like if I say 2, then v is less than 5. Okay, that's it, how it is run. So these are the things. Now uh, let's go with the variables and assignments. Okay.
those who are very much new to the python would be uh, getting in some in some way now we can write it as forced equals to variable hmm? a lot of ways are there to define we can also write it as underscore variable and then the number in the values even here hmm? and we can also define it as like let's say x is equals to 80 then y is equals to 36 like this and it's just going to print all the things So uh, first is not defined just a minute. Yeah. Sir, why? Sir, check why? Just a minute. Can you make so that capital X should not be. X is not defined. Sorry. Yeah. Then variable where one eighteen and thirty six. Okay. These are things. So if you want to count the character, length of the characters and all, we use the length, like if I am going with a variable first, find it to be 8, okay, very simple things, okay, now uh, how do we check a type of any of the variable or the number or anything, we use the type function, type checking with colors. So we just try it has to be type of like let's say if I'm going with the x so it is an integer okay now so there are ways of taking inputs and then giving the outputs right so what exactly is an input if we talk about what is an input command what is that how we are going to define an input statement just a very simple thing if anyone can tell what is an input statement like print statement print something type statement define something what input does so it takes values like uh, and so a value can be anything mm -hmm. values can be anything Right, so it prompts the user to enter something. That's it. Very simple. Right. So let's say if I say variables, why are variables needed to hold some values? I'm giving input. So what input is needed? Why input is needed to prompt to the user? Uh, to you can say enter something or yes that's better right and then you can print exactly this what is the value here now that depends Now that also depends like which of the type you are taking like if I say input output so input output is being written exactly right so everything has its own type and the type is also there for this like if I say print this and also the type of this if I say uh, a number Still, I get a class of n string. We'll discuss on later on what are strings and all. Now, if we want to define, like if we want to give an output in different ways, we can get right of the things, right? So we say, like, I'm having a, b, and c as to be 180, 
and 90. Now I want an outcome where I can print 1008090. How should I write it? In the same manner. I want an outcome in the same manner. So how, how should I write this? Hmm. Okay, yes. The very simple thing you should have in mind that when we are having, so let's try with if we can print A, B, and C, comma. So we get uh, some of these spaces here in between them. We don't want these spaces. So what you can do? You, you can say it's a, a plus B plus C, but that will be giving you something, sum, right? So what we can do is we need the sum, but in strings. So we need to convert it into strings. So str of a plus str of b plus this str of c. It'll be giving you the results. Right. Okay. Now if my capital X is equals to sorry, if my y is equals to 36. Now what are the different ways I can use to print this y? What are, there are different methods for printing this y equals to 36. Now I can go with the very simplest one that is print y hmm? that is 36 or I can go with this print I can zoom out this or I can go with print this y is equals to str of 30. Like this, okay. The same thing I can change here a bit. Change y equals to 30, just a plus and comma change, right? Uh, another time, what I can do is here as y equals to 36. Oh, why? Oh, sorry. Here I haven't changed this. Why did I turn it out? Okay. Or else we can write. This will be using in many times in the numpy and as an album. Okay. So just revising it. Here also. Right, so there are different different ways of writing up the things. Right now in Python we have data types. Okay, and with, in the very beginning if we start up the thing, so we start up with integer. Hmm. So what are integers? Yeah, what are integers? Numerical values. Hmm. Those are float even. Float are also numerical. So natural numbers. Someone is saying decimal values from 0 to 9. Dishant is something saying by type casting all the integer value and then concatenating the string. What exactly you are trying to say? I didn't get it actually. Okay, now uh, someone said natural numbers. Hmm? All right. So whole number. Yes. Whole numbers. You get from minus infinite to plus infinite, a positive, negatives and all, okay, without decimals. Hmm? So, uh, we just define it, the things, A, B, C, all right, we can find this integer. 
Now same goes with the float. What a float? Real numbers from zero to infinite. Real numbers. Real numbers. it was 5.9 uh, 6.4 okay 5.9 6.4 and 6.4 okay and then printing this d and e and the type of anything d you get a float okay then we have the third type called as complex what are complex real plus imaginary Right, real plus imaginary numbers. Now let's say f and g is equals to 34j. Now these are the form of in the pythons in the form of a plus bj. So you find it to be complex, right? Now when we say complex are the combination of real plus imaginary numbers, then what are the real part and what are the imaginary part of a number? So if this f is a complex number, where you can find the type of f as a complex one. So if f and g are the complex numbers, then what is the real part of f? So this would be f dot real and same dot imaginary. I find real part is 0, 0.0 right and the imaginary is 34 because j is given with the 34 so we say it to be imaginary as 34 j with the same thing the g would working different because there you have real also sorry and there you also have imaginary 23 and 7 right okay now next we have random module. Now how random works, basically here you just give some random variables or random numbers. Okay, so with uh, uniform ranges, sometimes with the distributions. Okay, so a lot of things are there for the random to go through actually. All right. So. You can go with the help of any of the functions to go through, like help of random if you want to go through, you'll find all the modules, okay? I'm not going through now, right now. Okay. Now, now with the random, what you can do? Like you have to import this module. That is needed. And then you can print all, all the directories of the random. You find this is still there, they, these are the functions and all, okay. Now if we work with random range, rand range, let's see what rand range is, okay. What rand enter, what random is, what random drop sample is, okay. So we'll be looking like print, then there, the random dot Rand range. Now range work is like if I say 1 to 10, then you'll be getting the numbers from 1 to 9. The last didn't work, right? So the last minus 1 till there, your ranges works. Right? So hey, the last numbers, what are you getting? Will be 9, obviously. Right? The difference between the rand int is there, like here, you would be getting even the last and even the beginning. So you'd also get 10 here, right? And 
random is something like uh, okay in the numpy it takes here it doesn't take so, so here we'll be getting some numbers at least like less than one most of the cases okay all right okay now this can be used in many ways actually so this can be used like to find the to generate the codes what do you see like atm code pin codes anything not pin codes it, this can be used to generate the atm spin code okay the pins and all so like how we'll say that the uh, print a code and the code could be brand range of a big number like let's say one 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 and nine 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 so between this triple one and triple nine sorry four one and four nine uh, just print a number so it's, it's five six five five so this could be a pin number next time next number would be coming five four eight one this could be a number right similar to this works with the google verification codes and there you get something else like if i say print g plus sorry g dash then plus the str of if i say random dot rand range of one two three four five six and then nine seven eight six five four till there right six numbers i'm taking okay so or if i just go oh, it i like this mm -hmm. like this very simple Convertations can be done later on what's like if we print a p g this 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 is a google verification code or facebook password reset code just a line is being changed and the methods are same actually okay and then uh, some keyword i look on there in the chat type casting something imaginary like iota <laughs> yes yeah, any value that is positive, imaginary like IOTA, that will be doing in the SMP. I'll just show you this one. Hello, sir. Yes, hello. Uh, sir, uh, what is the uh, actual work of the random uh, range? Random range. Yeah. To the rand range is a random dot rand range. Random dot rand is right. To go yeah. with the uniformly distributions. Uniformly distributors. Okay. And just a minute. If you want with the particular uh, things, just a minute. I'll give you this here to work. So. So with all the functions you can go through, right? Like if if you want for the random, if you want with the random rand range, so ra random range range is not here right now. So range works also the same, like uniformly distributed uh, numbers, right? The integer numbers. Like if you're only using with the rand, it is giving like uniformly distributed values. Random would be giving you normally distributed. And then same things, random integers, the seed, sample, you'll find all these things, right? I'll share this in the drive, just notebook, and then you can find all the definitions of the random, okay? Why we use logistics and all. Okay. So, uh, having doubts still? See, it is just used for giving a uniformly uh, distribution of the values right randomly in integer not in float okay when we use random dot random they we get the floating points and in the range the last number will not be included in random integer it is being included that's the difference clear whose doubt it was yes sir 
iota and we got something as a keyword of the iota so iota has got something like i this is iota exactly what are you talking about we'll be looking on this imagine numbers iota square minus 1 into minus 1 this is your 1 under root of minus 1 what is that i square root of minus 1 and those things will be given later onwards right no. all right if i give it to 1 root of 2 root 2 sorry like this we'll be starting later onwards so these are basically the modules and all okay now coming to the python right <laughs> remove this now we have typecasting we were in the typecasting as something saw so it there in the chat someone has written recordings yeah obviously you would be getting two recordings today because uh, we ended in half an hour something right one video ended at, uh, within half an hour due to network issues so both recordings you'll be getting in your uh, channels okay all right so uh, Deshant has written something typecasting so typecasting of two types implicit and explicit now explicit is something where you actually force the uh, types to be changed right and implicit it automatically change so how do we write it things right if i say 2 plus 3.5 one integer and one float running it to be completely a combined value that is a float one automatically it's just converted i i didn't do anything right if, if i say 2 plus 3.5 and if i force this to come in integer this is an in explicit type right now i am getting an integer so that is a this difference implicit and explicit now uh, there is a module called as sys what yesterday we started up right so in your first assignment you will be getting questions with this sys module also so you need to import this which system working you are doing what is the usage of all this right so the versions you are using and also the system version info it is not actually needed but if you are asked you need to print it with things okay Python batches still have the problems with this morning time. Right. Uh, okay. So modules help would be giving you the definitions and all for anything. Okay. Uh, moving onwards to the operators, how operator work. Okay. And see, guys, uh, path has also a very important function. Like which, where exactly your things are kept. If you've been asked, which, what is your working path? Hmm. Uh, which folder you are working or where your uh, things are being stored if you say for that right so okay so how do we say those things right so like if, if the import sys has been done same thing uh, import os is also there right so os dot the working directory uh, get it is sorry so current working directories there like in users names, city fabrica workshops, number December, AI well, like this, right? Simply like in the sys also you can go with this print sys dot the path of this current directory. So you find the path. Now where your things are kept actually. So this is the path. 
see the same path here too and inside this there will be anaconda zip and then p3.7 downloads and all the things okay all right that is quite large ones okay operators are quite easy you can go with the operators i guess right so two modules are more important right we'll be discussing that is calendar Now most of you actually like sometimes do the problems in the calendar very really silly things that is sometimes you import this is calendar you see some no module named calendar is given now why it is wrong so in the previous batch there was an issue with this they were doing a project and C E L E N D E R were well, I think this three of them all right now calendar has also got some of the modules now let's say like if in, in the assignment if you are asked to print a month calendar like today's calendar how will you be writing this all right? today's calendar what is today's date that is 26 11 right and running 2020 we need to print the November calendar of the 2020 so we'll say that we are going to print calendar of a month very easy where the year is 2020 and the month is 11 and we get 2020 11 calendar that's it and today is 26 that is Thursday very simple right if you ask to print a complete calendar of the year so basically that is make less next year is the calendar we want so basic things are there for this too let's say it has to be 2021 that's it so 2021 calendar is there okay rest even over the modules right things are easy over there okay these things are there okay and the times and all the things right so these are for till now today all right tomorrow we'll be continuing with the rest of the things and stop the video